continuously variable transmission or a CVT kind of gets a bad rap out there. People see it as unreliable, but the reality of it is, is this is pretty reliable and it's a very efficient transmission. And that's why a lot of automakers use a CVT, including Nissan, Subaru, General Motors, Volkswagen, the list goes on and on. So what is going on inside a CVT transmission? The important thing is to remember that it's not pulling, it's actually pushing. With this chain, it's actually pushing the next cog on here or the variator. And the variators can change their position or where the chain rests inside of it to change the gear ratio. This is great because it's actually a simpler transmission than a typical automatic and even simpler than some manual transmissions. But what goes wrong with these? Well, it's a lack of maintenance. In other words, nothing is maintained inside the transmission, the fluid isn't changed, and you have issues. The important thing with the fluid on these is 700 PSI or greater. This means the fluid has to not only control the level of friction inside the transmission, but it also must move these variators that require a lot of pressure and a lot of force to change the gears. So when you get a CVT transmission in your shop, don't automatically condemn it. Just realize it needs maintenance and you're the one to service it. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.